In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Recapture to Elementor Pro Forms so that you can reduce your contact form spam. It's completely free to use. You need a Google account to use this feature. Link to Recapture is in the description below. This is the form we're going to add the Recapture to. What you want to do is go to google.com forward slash recapture and then you want to go to v3 admin console and you'll need a Google account to do this. Now all we're going to do is click on the plus symbol, create, and then you want to tick Recapture V3, copy your website URL, so I'm going to put that in the label so I know what it is, just remove the HTTPS so it looks neat and tidy, add the domain, paste that in here, remove the HTTPS and the backslash, scroll down, accept the Recapture terms and conditions, I uncheck send alerts to owners, press submit, and then it will give you your site keys. To add our site key, we go to Elementor, Settings, Integrations, and then we are looking for the Recapture V3, which is here. All I'm going to do now is copy my keys and paste them in here. And then when you're done, scroll down to the bottom and press Save Changes. Next, you want to go to your page with the contact form on it. Go to Edit with Elementor. All we've got to do is scroll down, click on the contact form, and then on the form fields, add an item, and then you want to select Recapture V3. And I always like to put it on the inline. If you have it bottom right, it puts it here. Bottom left, it'll put it over this side. But I think personally, inline looks a little bit neater, so I'm going to put mine there and press update. And that is it. Recapture is now enabled. Let's preview the web page. So I scroll down. And now we can see Protected by Recapture is on our contact form. If you found this helpful, please leave a comment below, hit that like button and smash that subscribe. If you didn't like it, well, hit that dislike twice and thanks for watching.